what is v model v model that is sdlc software development life cycle model advantages the disadvantages and when to use v model v model means verification and validation model please understand verification and validation model just like the waterfall model the v v shaped life cycle is a sequential path of execution of processes each phase must be completed before the next phase would begin v model is one of the sdlc model testing of the product is planned in parallel with the corresponding phase of development in v model this is the diagram of v model this is the verification and validation that is this is the developers life cycle and here we have the testers life cycle so when you have this business requirement specification when you are making it you have to understand that this is this should correspond to the acceptance testing means when see when you are doing acceptance testing you need to you need to trace to the business requirement specification in the srs phase that is the system requirement specification the system testing would be done with respect to the srs the high level design with respect to the sit that is system integration testing the low level design component testing coding the unit testing and finally from where you have started the code means you started with the business requirement specification you have come up to the code and these are the testing which are corresponding each testing is corresponding or this v model is telling you or guiding you that which all testing needs to be done and which will correspond to which phase of sdlc this is your verification and validation model the various phases of v models first is requirement like the vrs and srs that is business requirement specification and your software requirement specification they begin the life cycle in model just like the waterfall model but in this model before development is started a system test plan needs to be created the test plan would focus on meeting the functionality specified in the requirements gathering then the high level design phases this phase focuses on system architecture and design so it provides overview of the solution the platform the system the product and the services and the processes an integration uh, test plan is created in this phase uh, as well as in order to test the pieces of the software system ability to work together the low level design phase is where the actual software components are designed here so it defines the actual logic of each and every component of the system the class diagram with all methods and relation between classes they come under the low level design so component tests are created in this phase as well and the implementation phase is again where all the coding uh, takes place so this uh, low level design correspond to the component test in the implementation once coding is complete the path of execution continues up the right side of the v where the test plans develop earlier are now put in use coding this is at the bottom as you just saw in the figure of the v shape model the module design is converted into the code by the developers then unit testing is performed by the developers on the code written by the by, by the coders or by them what are the advantages of v model this is simple and easy to use the testing activities like the planning test designing will take place well before coding this will save us a lot of time therefore there is a higher chance of success over the waterfall model then we have proactive defect tracking that is defects are found early at this stage of the phase and it avoids the downward flow of the defects this works well for small project where requirements are easily understood there are certain disadvantages of v model also very rigid very very rigid that means not very flexible the software is developed during the implementation phase so no early prototype of the software is available just like your uh, waterfall model because this is actually a waterfall model only on the background if any change uh, takes place or is uh, sought midway then the test code documents along with requirement documents has to be updated so when to use v model the v shape model should be used for small or medium sized pro uh, projects the requirements are clearly defined and they are fixed the v shape model should be chosen 
when ample technical resources are available with needed technical expertise so high confidence of customer is required for choosing this v shaped model approach since no prototypes are produced there is a very high risk involving in uh, or involved in meeting customer expectations so this is the v model let us uh, revisit it again this is about the software development this is about the verification validation that is that uh, is verification and testing so we for all these for all these different phases see we have planned testing beforehand so these are the pros and cons let us visit them again pros means the advantage this is highly disciplined model and phases are completed on one at a time works well for smaller projects where requirements are clearly understood simple and easy to understand and easy to manage due to rigidity of the model each phase has specific deliverables and review process when we talk about the cons as we just said high risk and uncertainty not a good model for complex and object oriented uh, projects and for ongoing and long projects it is not a very good model this is not suitable for the projects where requirements are at a are at a moderate to high risk of changing if the requirements are changing then not suitable once an application is in testing state it is difficult to go back and change a functionality and we have no working software which is produced or prototype until the um, until late during the life cycle so this is about v model thank you so much take care